Good evening, Matt Wordsworth with ABC News. Urgent laws are being rushed through federal parliament to bolster powers against criminals behind the wave of food tampering cases across the nation. Police are investigating more than 100 reports of strawberries and other foods being spiked with needles or foreign objects. In a rapid escalation of its response, the Prime Minister's ordered his government to treat the cases with the same severity as terrorist crimes. National Affairs correspondent Greg Jennett is at Parliament House. Three months in the watering, nurturing and growth. Seconds in the destruction. Strawberries by the truckload, ditched to rot in dirt. A springtime cash crop is close to crippled, and so is consumer confidence by the nastiest case of pins and needles. Maybe a needle inside? No needles inside, no. Screened for transparency and with assurances their fruit's clear. The three for ten, I give one point of three, huh? Those who made it to market are marketing with cheer. Oh, I'm actually sort of make a joke. I say, come get us some strawberries, the needles free, gluten free. <laughs> Look at that. But with reports of contaminations from coast to coast, the national government marshaled its resources for action. I know many Australians are very concerned about what's been happening with the strawberries. A prime ministerial denunciation. It's not funny. It's not right. Was matched by an open act of defiance. Anyway, got to go to question time. Cheers. And a new suite of penalties putting fruit tampering on a criminal par with financing terrorism and possessing child porn. From 10 years in prison to 15 years in prison. That's how seriously our government takes it. So seriously that spiking food supplies will now be akin to a terror attack on national infrastructure. It is unprecedented behaviour that highlights how food supply chains can potentially be just as important to Australians' well-beings and so our national security as the provision of water or electricity. The laws will be rushed into Parliament tomorrow, ready for any culprits or even copycats police can track down. Over 100 incidents have been reported. We do believe that a large number of these are fake or they are hoax incidents. Federal authorities aren't exactly treating this as a national security threat, but they may as well be for the speed and the force of their response. The government's certainly treating it as an economic threat, though, both to the country's reputation as a clean food producer and to the livelihoods of those who produce it. Which is why crime prevention is being coupled with product promotion. Go back to buying strawberries. Make a pav this weekend and put some strawberries on it. Eat a chopped Australian strawberry. When eating for Australia, why stop at one? Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.